Morning, Lanphier, and welcome to Ram Report. I'm Remy Monahan coming at you with Lanphier Sports Updates. A couple weeks ago, the Lanphier Rams took on Lakeview. Although the boys' basketball team lost, the Rams hit 5 and 10 from the free throw line. AC Davis had a team high of 10 points. With two players out, Lanphier had a terrific defensive effort. On the 12th, Lanphier hosted Wrestling Regionals with a 40-19 win over Farmington. Lanphier then fell short to Lincoln in the finals. Mike Willits and Matt Kaczynski were two of the many who had great match matches. Along with those two, Austin Frederick and Trevor Gorman will compete this weekend in hopes of becoming state champions. Back on the 8th, the varsity cheerleading team competed at Warren Woods Tower High School in Division 3. Shown here, the girls have been com competing team back handsprings and back walkovers. The Lady Rams came in second place to the previous D3 state champions, Richmond. And then, even their score, they beat, the round, they beat them by, in round 3 by 6 points. The girls have been working incredibly hard to qualify for regionals and possibly even for states. The girls have broken 700 at every single competition except for one. Keep up the great work, ladies. Next up on the show, we have our Ram Rant. Students Dwayne Hogan and Kevin Burr are here to debate the hot topic of should the Miami Heat trade LeBron James. Here's Kevin's take. Honestly, in my opinion, the possibility of LeBron James getting traded from the Miami Heat to, in this case, the LA Clippers for Blake Griffin is a really scary thought. And why I say I'm a skeptical about the idea would be because it's Chris Paul teamed with LeBron James while Griffin would be teamed with Dwayne Wade and recently lackluster Chris Bosh. Paul and James would be a very good matchup and would be a force to reckon with. I mean, remember, LeBron James currently averages 27 points per game this season, and there's not a real downside for, Le for LeBron if he gets traded. Griffin, on the other hand, who averages 24 points per game, would have to deal with extremely high expectations from Miami Heat fans. I mean, there is a slim possibility that the Heat would benefit from the trade since Griffin is an incredibly skilled and strong player who is exciting to watch. But there's way too much riding on the Heat to win more NBA titles. The Clippers have a chance of winning a championship either way because of who Chris Paul has teamed up with. We'll just have to see how the rest of the season plays out before anything really happens. All right, Dwayne, how do you feel about this trade? Um. I feel like this would be stupid on the Miami Heat's part. I'm usually against the Miami Heat, but in this case, I'm going to take LeBron's side. He's a good player. You cannot trade LeBron James. You can't trade someone who got you three MVPs, two in Miami, won two championships in Miami. You just don't trade that. That would be stupid on Miami Heat part to team Blake Griffin up with Dwayne Wade. Because the only reason Blake Griffin is good is because he plays with Chris Paul. Chris Paul makes Blake Griffin the player that he is. Blake Griffin is overrated. Le back to LeBron. LeBron James, I respect him. No, actually, I don't respect him, but I know he's a good player. He's second best in the league to Kevin Durant, of course. But Miami Heat, you trade LeBron, look for your franchise, go down the drain. Thanks, boys. It's always great to hear your opinion and get into the world of professional sports, too. That's all for this episode of Frame Report. Keep calm and grab life by the horns.